Hey. Y'all ain't supposed to be over here. The Arctic freeze, the big storm. It's coming to Mississippi, and we got to show you how to protect your chickens when the extreme cold comes to your area. Well, I made a mistake and I opened the gate and I had the bucket and the chickens ran to me. Oh man. All right, if you didn't know, first thing that you need to be worried about whenever you get your chickens ready, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you are. Nope. Yeah, I already got you. Get Look. these chickens in here. Yeah, well, you know what? First thing you gotta do, make sure they're well fed. Put a little bit of corn in there. What that's gonna do is it's gonna digest overnight. It takes a little bit longer. It's gonna give them their body heat and keep them warm throughout the night. All right, next thing you need to worry about, drafts. Any type of draft or air movement that could brush over the chickens throughout the night can give them frostbite on their combs and their feet. So we're gonna close these windows. Now you still need to make sure your coop has ventilation because the ammonia could build up in here and that could be harmful to your chickens. But the main thing, like up there up top, we do still have ventilation. So that stuff's going to be able to escape the coop. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab some more bedding and we're gonna add more than we need in here, but we wanna make sure there's no moisture on the ground inside the coop because that moisture is gonna make it a little more cold in here than it normally would be. The next thing is these nasty little roosting bars right here. Make sure your chickens have the opportunity to get up off the ground. I don't care how you do it or what you use, just make sure that their feet aren't in contact with the ground. Give them something to roost on. And the last thing, please do not put a heat source inside of your chicken coop. Your chickens have feathers, they're insulated very well, they can manage the cold weather. What you don't want to do is put a heat source in there, let it be 60 or 70 degrees in there, and then you lose power. So you lose that heat source and the sudden drop in temperature, that's going to kill your chickens more than likely than a freeze coming through your area. that spread out and then we should be good to go let's recap it what you need to do number one make sure they're well fed preferably put some corn in there if you can Two, cut down on the drafts in the coop make sure there's not a steady wind flow blowing through there three get their feet up off the ground and four do not add heat to their coop unless you have chicks that's the only reason you would do that